what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. everyone it's your girl Nunu the hair diva and I'm back with you with the Urban Decay Vice palette this palette is the lipstick palette and the one that I picked up from Macy's is blackmail and this is what the packaging looks like beautiful packaging and these are the shades that you get within the palette it also comes with a lip brush as well. Now, on the back of the palette, it says, Indulge your lipstick vice. We loaded this limited edition palette with a dozen shades from our massive collection. That's a plus. Dark, sexy hues, bold brights, insanely versatile neutrals. Experiment with shades like Firebird, a deep fuchsia cream 714 a bright red mega matte 1993 a medium brown matte conspiracy a plum brown shimmer and blackmail a deep berry matte our our priority I think that's what that says pigment infusion system delivers rich color payout with super creamy feel and the enclosed lip brush provides a perfect application and I'm going to say I agree with that I am going to bring you some swatches so please stay tuned because it will be coming up right after this part of the video what I wanted to do was show you what the vice palette looks like it is mirrored so you can see everything in my room. On the front it says Urban Decay Vice Palette. It opens up like this. You have a large mirror which you can see my face in. It stands up straight and it folds completely flat. So if you wanted to use the mirror and have your palette up like this, you can definitely do that. On the front with this little piece that was getting ready to smack me in the face this is a plastic covering that opens and closes. here are your lipstick colors you also have the names underneath the lipsticks which is wonderful because you know it is very easy to forget the names you have all of your bold colors on the top and all of your neutrals on the bottom I really do appreciate this palette I'm not necessarily a person who likes lipstick palettes but I believe that this is something that if I wanted to take with me and I was wearing one particular color with my shadow look and I go somewhere else and I want to change my lipstick just to make my makeup look different I can definitely do that I love the fact that it also comes with a lip brush that is very good because I do like Urban Decay brushes as well so please stay tuned for the swatch video it's going to be connected to this and then I will come back and talk a little bit more about it and where you can get it thank you all right everyone here is the box once again the urban decay vice palette lipstick is my vice it is the black male palette that i got from macy's on the back here are all the shades and the names and you also get a lipstick brush in the palette as well Here is the palette, and this is my Makeup Forever lip brush. 
that I will be using. That's what it looks like. Here's the palette. It is mirrored. That's why you can see what is hanging on my wall. When you open it, you have this large mirror there and it folds down completely. Like I said, you can see all the items on my wall. When I turn it back this way, you have lipstick is my vice printed here on the top. And this top piece here, which is plastic and a smoked out color, opens completely. But it doesn't lay down flat. And you have all of your shades. In the palette as well, you do have the names underneath. So I'm just going to move this up. And I'm going to start on my arm here and we're going to start with the top row you may not be able to see that okay the top row right here and the first one is called sheer shame so I'm going to grab some of that and then apply it this is sheer shame and it is like a gloss. Perfect color. The next color we're going to try is Firebird. I'm going to get a little bit of that as well. And then apply it to my arm. Now that is beautiful. The first shade to me is a nice brick red. The second shade is a beautiful fuchsia pink very very pretty and it looks like a matte finish while the first shade looks more of a gloss the next shade is called big bang now this one looks like it has glitter in it and it does have some shimmer not necessarily glitter it is a fuchsia pink, but maybe, let's say, more on a baby pink with little tiny pink shimmers and some golden shimmers as well. And that's the color there. The next color is called Disobedient. And this is the color here on my arm. Very, very beautiful pink. This one I would definitely have to wear with a lip liner, but it is gorgeous. I love that color. Love how it looks. The next color is called EZ. And I'm not sure how this color is going to work on me because it is a red orange it is matte that's what that color looks like I may be able to work with this I'm not exactly sure you know most colors that have orange in it don't work too well uh, on my lips but I will try it out maybe with a brown liner the last color of the top row is called 714. And here it is on my arm. And this is another red orange, but it is more red than it is orange. While this one has more orange tones, this one has more red tones. And to me, it looks to be a matte as well. So here are the first six colors at the top. Stay tuned for the next six colors. Okay, so now we're going to start on the bottom row here, which are more of the neutrals, and the top row is more of the bold colors. The first color that we have here is called Vanish. Okay. 
and let me get a little bit more. Vanish seems to be a your lips but better. You can barely see the color, but I can tell that it does have a little bit of pink, a little bit of mauve. Um, this would just be a color that you would go over your lips to just have a nice neutral. And that's what that color looks like there. The next color is called 1993. And here it is. This is a beautiful mauve. It also seems to be matte. I think that is a beautiful color. And as you can see, I wiped the brush off <laughs> on the towel and I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> the next color that we have is called Ex-Girlfriend. And here is that shade here. Now, ex-girlfriend is more of a gloss in that same tone of 1993. 1993 is definitely a matte. So this is 1993, and this is ex-girlfriend. And those are the shades right there. And I'm just going to use the towel here anyway to wipe it off. The next color that we have amulet I'm gonna put that right here amulet is a satin finish very very pretty and they all are pretty much nudes and I think that is great that you have nudes on the bottom bold colors on top it gives you a wide variety of shades Second to the last is called Conspiracy. Here is Conspiracy, which is also a gloss finish. Not a high gloss, but definitely a gloss finish. That is what that color looks like. Beautiful brown. It's kind of like a mauve, taupey brown with a little hint of gold. I really think that is pretty. And the last one is called Blackmail. And we're gonna put that right here. Blackmail is definitely a matte. It is a dark cranberry color. Beautiful. I definitely know I will get a lot of use out of this. It helps me out to have it in a palette so that I'm not worried about trying to uh, go through a large lipstick collection. I may even pick up the second palette as well, which I think is called Junk Mail, but I'm not exactly sure. So here are the last six shades on the bottom. And I will be right back with my thoughts. All right, I hope you enjoyed the swatch video and I just wanted to come back in to say that I really do like this palette. I'm not exactly sure what the other palette is called. I believe it could be called junk mail or something like that. I could be wrong, but I know that as of right now, Macy's has the blackmail palette. You can get it at Ulta and you may also be able to get it at Sephora. So far, I haven't seen too many videos of anyone talking about this palette, but I know I'm definitely going to use it. Um, I love the bold colors at the top, the neutral colors at the bottom. I could interchange them, I could mix them. I don't have to carry around three or four lipsticks with me. I like that they're not super, super glossy because that just gets all over my teeth. I love that there are mattes in there. It's just an all around good palette for me. And even though I just got it and I'm not 
necessarily using it just yet, but I will be, stay tuned. I do recommend that you at least go in and do swatches as well as look at it. Look to see if the packaging is too bulky for you. I don't necessarily feel as though it is as a woman. You know we carry a lot of things in our handbags and this is an item that I feel as though won't take up that much room. So, if you do like this video, you enjoyed the swatches, definitely give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment below because I would definitely appreciate that. I love to interact with you. I want to say welcome to all of the new positive supporters. You guys rock. Thank you for hitting the subscribe button. And if you have made it to the end of this video, yes, the end of this video. I'm going to let you know that Nunu has 2,000 plus subscribers. It has taken a long time, but that's okay. I like how slow and smooth my channel is growing. And now that I am at 2,000 subscribers, you know what that means. It is time for a giveaway. So leave me some ideas of the items that you would like to have in a giveaway. If you have been a part of my channel for quite some time, you know that Nunu doesn't just give away one. Sometimes I do up to five. <laughs> it all depends how the money flows. But I am ready to do a giveaway and I would love your input. Definitely leave me suggestions below and you never know what you say you might even get. To all be blessed, wear your makeup, definitely save your money, and Nunu will see you in a few days with the next video. Bye.